Hello guys, welcome back to our lab. This is lab eight, in which we're gonna discuss the bridge full wave rectifier. We're gonna study it in two, uh, you know, uh, connections. The first one, uh, which is the ordinary one without any capacitors in the output, okay? Uh, and the second one, we're gonna add the capacitor, the smoothing filter, as we said or called it, you know, to smooth uh, out the output and, you know, uh, get more DC out of it. So let's start by, you know, the default connection or the default setup for the bridge full wave rectifier, in which we have the bridge, you know, and you can, you can draw it using this way. You know, you usually draw it like a diamond like this, but basically, of course, it's a circuit, you know, can you can just, you know, you know uh, uh, remove the wires and shape it in the way you want. So you can basically draw it like a square, you know, in that in that connection like this. But of course, it's they are basically the same, you know, just to think about it, you know, think about the connections. We just, you know, squeezed it about a little bit uh, to, uh, to make it like a square. So it was like this in the lecture. We just squeezed it, so it become a square, okay? So that's basically a bridge, and here's the load that will that we will feed with the DC. Okay, so basically in this uh, uh, in this experiment, we're gonna first you know connect this uh, input or this, this circuit like this. Uh, then we're gonna uh, run it and set up the you know uh, the oscilloscope like this. Here here are the settings, and of course this will be the output that you're gonna see. Basically the orange one, let's make it, you know, the orange one is basically the input and the red one here is the output, okay? So you're gonna first, you know, take a screenshot of this and put it here. Then you wanna measure uh, V input max and V out max. So basically you're gonna use the markers, you know, let's start by V output, that's fine. So V output here is, which is channel B, uh, is uh, 13.4 uh, volt. Okay, that's basically the max. Let's say 13, 13.4, yes. Then let's measure the input, the input max. So let's select the other trace, which is uh, channel A. Let's make it on DC. Okay, it looks like it's on the max, but let's, you know, to be sure, let's move it to this, yeah. So here is the max, it's 14.9, around 15, okay? So we know that the difference should be 1.4, theoretically 1.4, okay? That's, this is basically, you know, the theoretical uh, difference between VO max and V input max. It's around this, it's, uh, it's 1.6 here, it's not that far, okay? Good. Now it's time to measure the output DC. So basically if we hide here the input, look, this is the output. So the output is all positive. There is no negative stuff here, okay? That's why we have a, a larger amount of DC. If we make the calculation, the theoretical value and take the averaging, you know, using the sine wave. So we'll get almost double the, the value that we get from the half wave rectifier, which basically was the, the theoretical value was V max one by minus 0.7 over bar. Here, it's two V max minus 1.4 over bar. We say that usually V max is much larger than 1.4. So basically it's almost the double. So to measure it directly without making the calculation, we put the probe here. So the probe will give us the, the, the required, you know, uh, uh, DC. Let's, let's uh, you know, uh, uh, try to zoom in a little bit to, to, to see it much better. It's eight, 8.07, let's, so let's call it eight. If we calculate now this, it will be two uh, multiplied by V max minus Y, 13.4. This was 13.4, 13.6, I'm sorry, over by, it will give you something, eight point something. So they are close again to each other. Okay, that's basically the first, you know, uh, the first experiment in which we uh, we get uh, a kind of output like this. Now the question, can we improve on that? Yes, we can improve. If we put a capacitor, a smoothing capacitor, a filter capacitor, it has many names, okay? Then what's basically will happen, 
the capacitor will charge in the beginning, then this is charge, charge a little bit, this is charge, charge a little bit, this is charge, and so on. So we get something, you know, uh, closer to the DC, so the perfect DC that we want, okay? So let's now explore this other uh, circuit, which is basically the same, but I just want the capacitor in here. And we know, we know that the output will be affected by basically the capacitor value, the capacitance, the higher the capacitance, the higher the DC output. And also the amount of resistance, the load that you are feeding with DC. A higher a load, a higher the amount of DC, okay? So we're gonna first make the load infinity. So, the, and this is easy, just make it open circuit. That's why I bought, I bought the switch here. So in the beginning, we're gonna put the switch as open like this, and we're gonna run our uh, circuit. Let's check the output. Look, so here is again the input is uh, you know the orange one, you know a sine wave, and here is the output. It's just a DC, a perfect DC. So let's move and you know uh, try to measure it. So channel D, yes. So the steady state here is around, you know, uh, it's it's a channel B, 13.6, we can say. Okay, it's still there is, you know, a little bit of distortion, but we can neglect that. So you can, you can you know, take whatever you want, either 13.6 or 13.5. Okay, there are some some source of distortions that will, will not make, uh, it, will, it will not make it a perfect DC, but it's, you can consider it perfect DC. So we can say 13.6, this is basically the output, which is basically very close to the theoretical value, which is V maximum minus 1.4. And V maximum, we remember it is V maximum of the input, which is 15, because the input here is 15 volt, okay? So that's basically, you know, the output without load, when the load is infinity, because the switch here is open, okay? Now, uh, let's check if we want something else. Now, yeah, now let's close the switch and see what's gonna happen. So, uh, let's close it, open the oscilloscope again. You must refresh this, how to refresh it, you know, make none, then go back to single. And here is the new output. As I said, the capacitor will charge, the distance charge. Charge, there's a charge, charge, there's a charge, charge, there's a charge, and so on, okay? So, uh, now there are other characteristics that we should uh, measure now. So basically let's hide uh, the input and just to keep the capacitor output, which is basically the output that is that is fed to the resistance. Okay. We're gonna need to measure the V the rebel voltage, which the rebel voltage is basically the output big to big. Remember here are the peaks are <laughs> too close to each other. So here is the first peak, the maximum, and here's the second peak or the or the minimum. Okay, so this is the maximum, this is the minimum, maximum, minimum. Okay, they are very close to each other. That's why they call, they call it ribbon. They are like ribbons, waves, small waves in the sea. Okay, so basically uh, we're gonna measure this ribbon and it's easy to measure. We just need to measure the max and subtract the minimum. So let's go to the max first. Here is the max, 13.34. Then go to the minimum, 11.7, okay? then you subtract them, 13.4 minus 11.7, you will get variable peak to peak, okay? And you can also measure it. So we did also in the lecture that uh, this measure, and we, we showed, I showed you the, the proof for it. So uh, if you make the proof, the theoretical proof, you will get that the variable is Vmax minus 1.4 over 2FRC. Remember the rebel in the half wave rectifier was almost, you know, uh, similar similar equation, but in the in the numerator we have 0.7, not 1.4. But this is, has no effect, a big effect we can say because usually the maximum is very is very high, but the big effect was in the denominator here. So in the in the half wave rectifier it was just FRC was that is a two. Now we have a two. So it's basically we divided the amount of rebel, which basically uh, we don't want it. It's not desirable. We uh, we reduced that amount by almost half, you know, 50%, which is very good. 
You know, that's basically the advantage of, of full wave rectifier over half wave rectifier. Okay? So you can measure variable peak to peak using this equation. And then you compare it to what we have just measured, which is the max minus the minimum. And you get zero here. It should be small one. Okay? Then uh, we should also measure the output DC. Now, what is the output DC? Basically, the output DC is basically the average value between the output maximum and the output minimum, something that passes in between them. Okay? So you can measure it using uh, basically, uh, again, a probe like this. So let's again zoom in to see it, trying to see it. It's 12.5. 12.5. Let's now estimate it from here. So basically the minimum was 11.7 and the maximum was around 13.3. So really they are in the minimum. I mean, 12.5 looks like it's really between 13.3 and 11.7. Uh, it's something really in that range between these two numbers, okay? And again, we can uh, calculate the output DC theoretically. It should be V max minus 1.4 minus variable big to big theoretically. This guy, this is the theoretical value of here. So this variable big to big here is, should be calculated from here. Okay, over two. Okay, that's basically the theoretical value out of it. And again, they should be close to each other. Not that close because uh, as we mentioned in the lecture, uh, this equation here that in which from which we calculate the rebel big to big is actually approximate equation. Uh, there are many approximations done out there to get this uh, to get this uh, formula. That's why there are many sources of error. One of these sources is basically the cadastro value. okay? So here uh, 470 or 470 microfarads is, uh, is not a big capacitor. It's a moderate one. So you, usually you expect, we can say uh, some, uh, not big error, but uh, you know, uh, not a small one, we can say, but not big as well. If you wanna see really very small error, try 1000 microfarad. Okay, also I'm not, I'm, I don't require you to do that, but you can try it yourself. You can try changes like a to 1000 millifarad, 1000 microfarad, and you, you're gonna see very small error, or even better, 1,000 millifarad. Okay, so that's it, guys, for this uh, for this exhibit. I hope it's uh, it was clear for you. We're gonna get more help from uh, Chris in the lab. Thank you very much for watching this video, and see you in the lab. Bye bye.